So this Wabco unit has been removed from an Audi Allroad, but it's the same compressor found on many models such as the Jaguar XJ series, the Audi A8, the Audi Q7, Land Rover Discovery 2, the Mercedes S-Class and the E-Class, the Porsche Cayenne and the VW Touareg. It's also found on the Range Rover Mark III and the BMW, but it's mounted in a different case in these models, so I've got a different video to show you how to work on that version. It may vary slightly between the versions I just mentioned, um, such as the mounting brackets may vary how the compressor is mounted and the temperature sensor. Not all models use a temperature sensor, but the steps to changing the piston ring are exactly the same. So tools required. I've got a T30 Torx bit, a set of cable snips, a 5mm Allen key and just a rag or a cloth. What we get in the kit, you get a precision machined piston ring, which is manufactured by myself. You get two new o-rings, one shaped and one round to suit different years of the compressor. Two new cap screws with thread lock pre-applied. A set of cable ties and an instruction manual which has also got photographs to aid you with the repair. Okay, so I have removed the compressor from the car. Uh, on the all-road you can actually fit the new piston ring with the compressor left on the car but it's definitely easier with it removed completely so that you can work at it on the bench. Clean any loose dirt. If you have an airline give it a blow down to prevent any dirt getting into the unit while working on it. The aim is to remove these two Torx bolts and then lift the cylinder and dryer unit off the motor assembly which gives us access to fit the new piston ring. So we're going to cut any cable ties off just to give us access. Uh, next we're going to remove this air tube here. Yeah, this is the air inlet and this is when the car lowers it lets air back out through this tube. So to remove the tube we're going to push the collar inwards while pulling the pipe. You might have to do both ends at the same time. Push the collar in and pull the pipe out. If it's fitted, note the position of the temperature sensor on one of the Torx bolts. Uh, we're going to remove these two Torx bolts using the, the T30 bit. If these bolts are very tight, I suggest to wire brush the bottom of the bolt here and spray it with WD-40 and leave it to soak. You can see the end of the thread just here. So we're going to remove these two Torx bolts. Lift off the temperature sensor, remove the two bolts and lift off the cylinder unit from the motor head. Also note the rubber o-ring in its position. This is the piston ring we're going to change in a minute. Uh, have a look at the air intake vein on top of the piston. Make sure it looks closed. Uh, if it's bent open, it will reduce performance, so make sure that's closed. And then we've got the cylinder. The cylinder walls are actually tapered by design. This is not wear. They're tapered halfway up the bore and then it goes parallel, so that's not wear. But check for damage in the cylinder. It should be grey and sort of smooth. If scored or damaged, the new piston ring may not perform very well or it won't last very long. If the cylinder is scored or damaged, it's usually due to the air intake not being filtered, so it draws in dirt and dust, which scores the cylinder. Also, see the wear to the top of the piston ring? It's actually tapered, so comparing the thickness of the new ring to the old ring will not show much difference. It's this tapered wear here which reduces the contact in the cylinder. And this wear is due to the piston ring tilting as it moves up and down, as there's no gudging pin, so it cannot travel square to the bore. It's also a tapered cylinder which causes the wear to be at the top of the piston ring. Note the orientation of the old piston ring so you fit the new one the same way because there's a wrong way to fit the ring. So note the way it's fitted around the small timing pin here so it can move but only a little. You may find it easier to position the new ring in the same orientation before removing the old ring. So just to remove it, simply stretch the old ring over the top of the piston. Inspect or clean the piston groove if needed. Then simply stretch the new ring over the top of the piston, making sure when it's squeezed closed, it fits around the small timing pin 
and not sitting on top of it. You should be able to move the piston ring side to side just ever so slightly. If you cannot see this pin, it's either upside down or fitted too far around. So this is important that you fit it around this small pin. So next, we're going to remove the old o-ring. Uh, sometimes you get a lot of corrosion here on this mating face, so give it a good clean up, scraping out any loose material if needed. Then wipe clean the cylinder with a dry rag, making sure there's no debris in there. Then fit the new o-ring or whatever one is required, the shaped one or the round one. Don't use any lubrication in the system, it's designed to be dry running. Make sure both parts are clean before putting the cylinder back onto the piston. Check your piston ring is still correctly mounted and then offer the two parts together, pushing the piston into the cylinder. So fit the temperature sensor on the same bolt it was removed and use the new bolts with the thread lock pre-applied. Tighten them up, but uh, don't over tighten too much. So refit the air tube, it simply just presses on, push it right up to the white markers and that's you finished. That's the compressor kit fitted. Uh, a good refurbished compressor should produce the maximum 16 bar, uh, which is 220 PSI. Once fitted back onto the car, you can use the cable ties to tidy any hoses or cables in place. Just fit it back onto the car in the reverse steps you removed it. If you need further guides, help or photos to assist you to remove the compressor and fit this kit, go to the installation page at my website, which is www bagpipeandandy.com. The web address is also shown on screen. If you have any questions, please contact me. My details are on my webpage.